Thank you, Chair. Um, I wholeheartedly second uh, the City Hall Greens amendment. We love listening to new ideas and we work hard to give a voice to good ideas that struggle to be heard and to people who have been ignored by the system and neglected by the national government or by local authorities. They need good leadership from City Hall. As my colleague Caroline mentioned, our proposals have regularly been taken up by the current Mayor and we do welcome it when this happens. But often there is a long delay between us suggesting something and the Mayor implementing it. Londoners shouldn't have to wait for the Mayor to act upon our good ideas. A true leader would take up ideas at the right time, not make us wait. This amendment pledges to put money behind groups that organise to support the more than two million private renters like me in London. Good organisations already exist to support us. The London Renters Union, the London Tenants Federation, Generation Rent and Acorn, to name just a few. They campaign for better conditions and laws and make sure tenants know and can enforce their rights. Every renter should have the right to have a home of a decent standard, to be protected from unfair evictions and to not be faced with unaffordable rents. One of these rights is already law, the second is on its way, we hope soon, and the third is something I will never stop pushing for. In the face of huge problems in the private rented sector and with changing rules and legislation, we should be supporting independent grassroots organisations now to increase their capacity and develop their services. We therefore propose £1.5 million in grants this year to expand the good work these organisations are already doing. We have also focused on the rising and unfair costs of our public transport system. Currently, the heavily advertised £1.50 weekend off-peak fare only applies to zones 2 to 6, but many of the things Londoners want to see and do are in zone 1. With the money we found in this year's budget, we will therefore extend the £1.50 off-peak fare to all zones, including Zone 1, for one Sunday a month for a whole year in what we're calling Sundays Out. With this, with TfL services, you can go from anywhere to anywhere and see something new in London for a flat fare. People in Zone 1 can go to Epping Forest, and people in Epping Forest can go to the Natural History Museum, all for the same price. These plans, which we would like to see matched with more car-free days in the boroughs, will boost our cultural institutions as well as local economies, small businesses and high streets, and is a proposal that will make it just a bit more affordable for a family day out and for young people to explore our city. And speaking of young people, our amendment also focuses again on supporting young Londoners. We first proposed boosting funding for youth services in 2017 when we realised the GLA was not using every power available within council tax to find help. If our 2017 amendment had been voted for, there would by now be an additional £18 million in the base budget that could have gone into youth work. The current mayor eventually listened to us and created the Young Londoners Fund, but this was, and this was great, but it is set to end in 2021 with the projects that it funds set to end by 2023. A true leader would not leave our young people in limbo and youth workers guessing about whether and where they will find future funding, especially not when that leader has substantial amounts of money down the back of the sofa. Our amendment therefore extends the Young Londoners Fund with additional funding for its remaining year for projects extending up past 2023 to 2024. We've put in £23.7 million via the draft budget available today and we hope the Mayor will provide this and much more when the final business rate totals are known. Colleagues, this amendment has outlined constructive and practical ideas for what London needs. Year after year we do this. We comb through the budget to find any money that hasn't been put to use and we have found plenty this year that should have been working for Londoners. Now at this point in the day, we usually get told in various ways, some polite, some not polite, um, that our amendment is no good. But it is so good this year, and we dare you to argue against free toilets, flat fares on Sundays, cleaner air for schools, warm homes, renter support and more youth services. We instead encourage this whole assembly to enthusiastically vote for our amendment. <laughs>